Someone snagged it. Who snagged it? 39. Hey, look at us go. All right. Livestock is back on the menu of, of things that we have. So we need to just, we need to just wait. We need to just wait until we have enough livestock for at least one more pen. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know how hard to go with this. Livestock is so fucking expensive that like, there's no way for me to buy my way out of this. <clears throat> one thing I can do. So this pen has 102 and they're slightly underworked, slightly, slightly underworked. So I'm going to pull a person away and these guys are quite underworked. So I'm going to pull six people away. And actually even no more than that there. So I've got some extra labor. What do I want to do with the labor? I want to probably, I've got 1.6 thousand grain. It is not being brought to me. Um, okay, so it's not being brought to me because it's, no, it's going straight to the bakery. That's fine, that's fine. Where's the, how much grain is here? 1,000. Okay, so we're gonna invest more delivery men here. We're gonna increase the amount of people running the bakery. And we're gonna invest in delivery men on the food distro because they now have to hand run. They are not going to hand run. Um, they're not gonna hand run it. So who who is gonna hand run the bread? If there's nothing to collect within the radius, the workers will start delivering non-fetching resources to this other stockpile. So, so I go here and I'm going to go empties to it empties to the food distro. There's only space in the food distro for bread. So I'm assuming that this means good things as opposed to bad things. Um, okay. We're gonna get some more delivery men. We're gonna move the bread here. And he's going, this guy, where does he work? Is this him? He works for here? Okay. And he grabbed five bread. He went way too far for five bread. Good Lord. All right, so this is fine. So we're going to have... Mm, no, this is the wrong way to arrange this. We want... Um, damn it, I'm not sure how to do this. So we're going to do it like that. We're going to get rid of the bread storage here. Do I want to use haulers for this? If I go infrastructure, logistics, haulers. And I'm like, yeah, it's a hauler. He goes right here. <clears throat> God. Trying to jury rig this thing to run after having just designed it with livestock in mind, but then not having enough livestock. <sighs> okay, bread. And there's four haulers here. Where did where did my staff go? Am I losing people? They're gonna pull from here and that's fine. I don't really care about that, I think. Okay. 
Um, sorry, I just had a coughing fit. What was what was I doing? I had people working here. I'm gonna pull them, and they are now gonna hand run bread to here. Fetch. If enabled, haulers will take resources from warehouses with fetch disabled, as well as loose resources on the ground. Uh, no. They're not going to do that. And... There needs to be, like, a fetch priority or something. Like, this is not... This is not good enough. I think the best I can do, the best I can do is just get rid of this and just add six people here. I think that's it. That's it. And they're just going to have to go straight to the bakery themselves and pull from this stack. There's bread on the ground. Tragedy. Tragedy. And to that end, what are these guys up to? They're delivering coal, they're delivering a bunch of stuff, right? And I can't pull from there because that is a core function that the labor is for, that the fucking livestock is supposed to be for, but is no longer doing. All right, we're up to 42 now. We're growing. We are growing. We're growing way too slowly. I should have... Here's the thing. If I had actually set this up initially... This would have been so easy. Like, this is this is the golden age. It's supposed to be the golden age for us. But the transportation. The transportation. Ugh. This is so savage. It's not fair. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run it. Like there's nothing left. There's nothing left for me. Um I'm I am accumulating bread. I think it's time for me to potentially consider more people, a little more, just to basically just to push the um just to push the bread production a little bit more and fish production a little bit more um at this point the system can function it can it's just it, it's just a question of will it um it might not have enough foot juice to uh to do that 45 come on 46 let me see it Goes up to daily tending, runs through, grabs this, and boom, 46. Easy. Easy peasy. <clears throat> How much of these am I producing per day? I gained seven that day. Yesterday I gained seven. Today I gained two. I started today at 46. All right, started this day at 46. Let's remember that and see how we do. I need to make sure all of my livestock is getting straight back to the pens. If it's not, there's a huge problem. <clears throat> there goes another one. Okay, we're starting to get people again, I think. Maybe that, or we just lost some uh, some auto employees, just killed some people off, which I'm totally fine with. Um, we've been distributing, we've well, we've been distributing a couple of things. We've been distributing wood and cut stone. If we turn on furnishings, this should bring some people in. Oh, that's gonna burn through all of my all of my cut stone so fast. Okay. Regular stone. Services, we could make a bathhouse, but like, really? 
Access. Eh, more food, though. This is definitely a temporary measure. <clears throat> a ploy, if you will. Designed to ensnare the minds of the Dondorians. I'm getting a little tired. I'm getting a little tired here, guys. Fulfillment. Not great. What does this mean? Expectations. 2%. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Hey, we're gaining people again. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm actually gonna see about filling this first. Fish production is a big deal for these Dondurians. Because that's one thing that I can actually do is get them some food preference. Oops. Yeah, get on over here. Finish constructing this thing for me. Let's go. All right, it's gonna take the sweet time, but once it's done, then the magic can happen. Here we go. Here we go. There's already 17 more Fisher Dondors waiting for me. That is an Oryx just chilling in the water. Almost done. There, done. All right, 52. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's just see what happens. Okay, maybe that's not wise. Let's uh, let's reel it back until we can actually afford it. Don't want to pull from any other vital services and crash the economy. Now we're almost at 600, which is where I started uh, telling it to go to. But let's go six uh, 700. I gotta be honest. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna last very long at this rate. I mean, I'll I'll last. I'm gonna have to pull back on my promises to my people again. Um, what if I give them, give them some more furniture? I don't know. Give them some more stone, maybe. Yeah, just go for it. Fuck it. Take all the stone. Stone is kind of a big deal, but there's a lot more out there to go for you know we can do another big round of it and then eventually we'll set up a stone mine really just trying to boom do that okay okay here we go here we go okay we've got a shitload of fishing we're gonna start dumping them into bread once we get ahead of this thing it's all gonna come together plus it is we are on an exponential curve, or at least maybe not exponential. What's the other one? Multiplicative curve. So, with the uh, livestock, that is. So eventually, we're gonna get ahead of this thing. What's uh, what's going on there, bud? Missing grain. Oh, we've already burned through all of our grain. Good lord. Although we're about to, about to harvest it all. <clears throat> Uh, you know, of all the things, of all the things, I think I will allow I think I'll allow one livestock to be used to move the grain. Mm-hmm, he got it. He got there first. All right, load the sucker up. All right, he's gonna take off in the morning. Let's see it, let's see it. 
There he goes. All right. Let's get this grain moving. Truth be told, we probably need another one. Probably need to keep the grain going. I'm going to assign a bunch of little ants to move some grain for me, please. And to be honest, it's probably going to take so long to get this grain off this field that we'll get this other field done. And then we can get working on it for next year. So now we're at 62. I, wasn't it 46 before? Yeah, we're gaining. We're making big gains now. 62 out of 169. Um... Yeah, it's not really necessary yet. But soon, I mean soon, Christ, it's going to take a while. We've still got another hundred livestock to deal with before. So, to be honest, it's not soon, unfortunately. I want it to be soon so bad. I want to get ahead of this thing. I could, I could now buy, I could now buy some more. And look at this, we're starting to see, is this going to be a surplus? Are we getting surplusage? Surplusage? Surplusage. Is somebody loading this thing? What's happening here? Mm, no. This is a beautiful thing. I'm super glad I discovered that you can just dig the canal out and, like, expand the water. That is super cool. <clears throat> Very neat. How is our stock of uh, clay doing? We are behind. We're behind on the clay consumption. Just gonna try to carefully scale up that source of revenue. As we can see here, this pottery has become the only stable source of revenue we've seen for the entirety of this uh, run. We've seen lots of different things come and go as a source of revenue, but nothing has stuck around. But I'm hoping that this will be a constant line. Um, I mean, Christ, I'm hoping bread will be that too, but it's taking quite a while to get this thing running. But it's starting to look really good now. <clears throat> now, truth be told, fish is still not quite where I want it to be. I think we're going to need at least one more large section. This is, what, 47? This one, 37? So, you know, pretty, pretty big. Yeah, that's all we can cut out. Um, we're going to have to do some water table manipulation, it seems like. So, like, if I remove water here, 